Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shanice Reed and welcome to Read All About It, where beauty and confidence has nothing to do with age, gender, or size. Before you go any further, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell, and let me know how you're feeling down below. So, today I'm finally back. I haven't recorded a video in about two weeks, and let me tell you, I have been stressed VF out. Like, ever since I came back from Vegas, I came back July 22nd. I had just been under an extreme amount of pressure. Like when I came back, I was thrown right back into school, thrown back into work, and it was just like, I mentally shut down. Like, I was not able to record a video. I, my, my spirit wouldn't let me. My spirit was too heavy and I had way too much going on. And it's like me personally, I love YouTube. I love making videos. I love when y'all see me make an ass of myself. I love that y'all laugh with me. I love that I could laugh at myself and it was just like, I was not in the place at all to be recording videos and to be acting like, oh, I got everything together. I'm just gonna sit here and do makeup. Like, bitch, no. I got back from Vegas and I was stressed the fuck out. And when people bring up like, mental health and your mental and making sure you're mentally good nobody brings up anxiety and it's just like anxiety is a real fucking thing i don't know what's wrong with people i don't know why people don't talk about it but anxiety is real and that shit has been kicking my ass for the past two weeks I came back monday I came back to Philly Monday. I didn't get home till like Tuesday night and I had a paper due Thursday that I didn't even start because before I left for Vegas I had a paper due. So I was focused on that paper and then returning I had a paper due in two days. Mind you, I don't know if I told you guys but the summer class that I'm taking I have to pass in order to really join the MSW program that I'm trying to be a part of. So it was just like I had to worry about that and then when I got back I had to find a field internship because I need 500 hours of field to graduate. Mind you on top of that I have to still work but Nonetheless, I need 500 hours of internship to graduate. I had to do my field application. I had to buy my student policy insurance. I had to join the National Social Work Organization. All this stuff costs money. By the way, mind you, I'm just coming from Vegas. And I have to put the money into my school. Whew. I had to find an internship, first of all. And it's just like, that was my main important thing. People weren't emailing me back. People weren't calling me back. And my field advisor, she's basically like forcing us and giving us mad deadlines for everything that we have to do. And this is just fulfilled. Mind you, I have to pass my summer class to even to even be a candidate to receive my MSW. And it's just like I still have to do all this stuff, all this preparation. Not to mention, school year is about to start for college students. So camps are coming back, football players, band members, cheerleaders, all type of sports camps are coming back. Not to mention the building has to get ready for incoming freshmen coming back or in re returning students, whoever. Everybody's returning to campus soon. So I have to make sure all of that is aligned as well. I was on vacation living my best life and then when I fucking returned, I had to be a supervisor, I had to be an employee, I had to be a student. It was just like, everything just came crashing back at once and it was just like, I just froze. Like, I'm like this. Like, I didn't know what the fuck, <laughs> I didn't know what the fuck was going on. Like, I was, I shut the fuck down. I'm not even going for it. I shut down and... I couldn't record. I couldn't record. I couldn't edit. I couldn't do anything pertaining to YouTube because my soul and my spirit was too heavy. And it's just like, I didn't want to put that energy out in the universe because that's not the purpose of my channel. My the purpose of the channel is for beauty, health, plus size, empowerment, self-worth, self-love. And it's just like, here I am, depressed. Not, And I don't want to say depressed because I wasn't really depressed at all. I was just very, very, very overwhelmed and stressed the fuck out. And it's just like for me personally, if I know I have a million and one things to do, that shit will replay in my fucking head until I get it done. It's just like if I know I have to go pick up my fucking dog or some shit. I don't have a dog. But if I had a dog and I know I had to go pick it up, that shit will play in my brain 
all fucking day until I go pick up the fucking dog. It's like, I could be fucking eating and I go get the dog. I could be talking to my supervisor. I think to myself, don't forget to go get your fucking dog. Like, it's just like when I know I have something to do, especially something that's attached with a deadline, that shit consumes my brain, it consumes my mind, and I am now over and it's just like I had to make sure my responsibilities were intact and in order before I sit here doing fucking makeup. I just couldn't do it. YouTube is another responsibility and I just couldn't bring myself to know that I gotta record, gotta edit, gotta post, gotta promote on my Instagram that I'm posting a video. It's just like, ugh. I couldn't breathe. Like, I literally felt suffocated so long story short that is the reason why i could not post youtube videos once i returned and another thing sidebar real quick i didn't really vlog in vegas i know i said i was but i didn't really vlog only because i was having a fucking ball like i really gotta give it up to youtubers that vlog and post and all that shit while on vacation and first of all, I think I have the wrong camera for vlogging. This is a great camera to sit, make quality content like this, nice picture and all that good shit. But this camera is too fucking big to say I'm going to be walking around in Vegas with this big ass camera. And it's just like sometimes I just didn't feel like it or I didn't remember because I'm just like, hey, we about to go catch a vibe, you feel me? Like I'm not worried about, okay, let me record it. Like, I don't know. So this vlogging experience wasn't the greatest, but Vegas was fucking lit. But back to what I was saying, my anxiety, stress level, all that shit was super high. I was so overwhelmed upon returning. I had to make sure I passed my class so I could join the MSW program. I had to make sure I found the internship so that I could get my 500 hours to graduate. I had to make sure my building is intact because either way, the people are gonna come to me complaining. So it's just like, I had to wrap my mind around all of that and not to mention, I started to be a really shitty ass grouchy person. Like I was just so overwhelmed that I didn't wanna, I, I didn't like, I just didn't want to be bothered. I didn't want people to talk to me. I didn't want to communicate. Like, the voices in my head were already telling me, but you got all this shit to do. Focus, focus, focus. That I did not want to be bothered, which in turn caused me and my boyfriend to have, like, multiple, like, big-ass arguments over dumb-ass shit because I was just, like, I was being a bitch, essentially. Like, and it wasn't on purpose. It was just, like, I was so stressed that I didn't want to be bothered. Like, I didn't want to be talked to. I, I just needed to shut down, focus, get it together, and then I could go back to being hype, bubbly, giggly, stupid. Like, I could go back to that stuff after my life was together. So, my life is together now. I passed my summer class, I found my internship, I turned out all my paperwork for school. All I gotta do is do my criminal background check. Um, my building is coming together, my employees are coming back. So it's just like, I'm in good spirits. I feel good, I feel lighter, like I feel like I lost 35 pounds and took a good ass shit. Like you know when you gotta poop so bad, like when you use the bathroom you feel relieved, like, like, Whew, like I feel like I could breathe like I feel like my shoulders aren't so heavy. I feel like I'm smooth sailing again like I'm back on track everything is steady for me right now So I really feel good. I'm in a good place I'm in a good position to get back to YouTube getting back to what I've grown to love so much And giving out the energy that my channel is supposed to be giving you know what I'm saying? I'm back and I'm gonna keep this video mad short. I just want to let y'all know where I was, why I was going, why I didn't post videos when I came back. Also, we're almost at 200 subscribers, which is a big deal to me. So I'm super, super, super excited about that. I just wanna say thank you for the continued love, support, the comments. Everything like oh my god, it really warms my heart and to some people 200 is not a light not a lot But we all have to start somewhere and I'm just super super excited that people fuck with me enough to want to subscribe like 200 people is a lot and I don't I probably don't even know 200 people. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like complete strangers are leaving great 
comments and positive feedback and I just love it and I just appreciate all the support so I'm gonna be doing many 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 don't get carried away many giveaways every time I reach an additional hundred if that makes sense so the first mini giveaway will be when I um, officially hit 200 so at this point I think I'm like 13 subscribers away from 200 so I'll be having a mini mini giveaway and I'm super super excited about that once I hit 200 subscribers I'll let you guys know how to answer how you will win and what you are winning yeah so thank you so much for watching thank you so much for the support thank you so much for the patience the girl is back and I'm super excited to get my videos back out and flowing. I'm super excited to sit down in this room and record and edit. I just love the whole vibe. I love the whole feeling. And my mind is together. My heart is full. And my spirit is centered. And thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all in my next video.